now it is people are spending a lot of time watching tiktoks and shorts and we are making a lot of tiktoks and shorts lately right so when you are making shorts in adobe premiere pro you can make those videos more engaging by placing text on top of your video because sometimes when people are watching or scrolling shorts or tiktok they are not actually listening those videos they are just watching and scrolling so if you can place text on top of your video it will increase the engagement and today i'm going to show you how you can place automated text on top of your video using transcription and caption feature so let's see how you can make that right so here you can see i have already made a shorts for my channel and i want to put some text on top of your video so how we can do that you don't need to go anywhere to transcribe the video you don't need to write word by word if you are using adobe premiere pro 2023 version because premiere pro has introduced a feature which is auto transcription you can use that feature to transcribe your video automatically inside adobe premiere pro before proceeding on further i would like to thank you for clicking on this video and watching this video and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one so let's begin so here to make the auto transcription we need to use the transcription feature where you can find that you need to go to window and if you click here then this text panel will appear right this is the text panel and from here you can make transcription before making caption or subtitle you need to transcribe the video and transcription doesn't support all of the language if you speak english you are very lucky because it is supported by transcription so i'll click here on this create transcription then this pop-up window will appear and from here you have to select the language you can see these are the language that are supported currently by adobe premiere pro english then chinese language french german japanese and also premiere pro support russian and hindi language so if you are speaking those languages you are very lucky you can automatically transcribe your video for my video i am speaking english i will select that one and then you have to select speaking leveling so here i have checked yes separate speaker so when you are talking in a video and there are several speakers, you can separate the speaker when you're making the transcription for this video i don't have any other speaker just myself is talking on this video so i'll just check no don't separate speaker and from the audio analysis you can select where you have placed the dialogue so here on this video i have placed my dialogue on a1 track you can see this is the track where i placed the dialogue so you can select the dialogue track or you can use a mixed version i will select audio one because the audio one track is my dialogue and then i'll click here on transcribe then premiere pro will upload the audio in the server and then it will be transcribed and it will send it back here on premiere pro so you can see that is a very fast process it has already done the transcription you can just play it back and see if there is any mistake usually premiere pro does a very great job i'll play it back and you Today can I'm see going to show you how here. different lenses affect your video quality and video frame so i here think you can see it is great now if you want to make a caption or subtitle out of this transcription you need to make a caption track so i'll click here when you are on the transcribe window you'll see here a button you can just click here on create caption this one then you can select any of the options i will select subtitle default because this one the most supported subtitle then the preference you can select subtitle format then style i will not select those i'll manually edit my styling for the subtitle i'll click create caption then it will make a caption track here right so if i play it back Today you'll see you here is the text but the text size is too small right so we need to edit this text to edit the text you can just select any of the text and then you have to go to window and then enable essential graphics then this panel will appear from here you can change the styling for your text you can select a font that you like i'll select a font that i like which is Bebas new bold and i'll increase the size so one more thing when you are using tiktoks you can see the bottom section is blocked by the user interface text and other elements right so you need to place the text where the text is readable i usually place the text in the bottom mid section so that it doesn't interfere with the user interface text of tiktok so i'll just change the position of my text maybe here in the middle and just i'll down it a little bit maybe here great and 
make the size of your text that is readable i like to use a bigger and bold font um, and i like to use a shadow here you can see i have used shadow you can just decrease or increase you can change the distance and the featherness that you want so that it pops out from the video right so now if i play it back today i'm going to show you how you can see other text is not carrying the changes that i have made right so i need to make a new style out of this text formatting to make a new style you need to again go to essential graphics and then track style you can create a track style i will just name it jp and then i'll click ok then this styling is carried by all of the text here on this track you can see the next text have been also changed right and you can also change the individual color of your words sometimes you want to emphasize on some words right suppose here i want to emphasize on these different lenses so i can just double click here and i can select the text and i can change the color of this text only maybe a bold green color so now let's play it back and see how it looks today i'm going to show you how different lenses affect your video quality and video yeah great that is the process that you can follow to make caption and transcription in adobe premiere pro and i hope if you use text captioning on your video if you are uploading your video on tiktoks or youtube shorts or reels then it will increase your audience retention dramatically so that is all i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn Adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye